Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about an interface of Angular routing, which is a route card, basically an interface called can deactivate. So there are cases where you would want to check that the user does not navigate from the existing path, right? Now, what are these use cases that I'm talking about? Let's say you are in some page where the user is entering some details, right? Or writing an email or sending an invoice or doing a payment, right? Like debit card, credit card payment, etc. And suddenly by mistake, the user hits back button, right? Now, this is one of the use case where you want the user to stop and check. Are you sure you want to navigate away from this current page, right? That's one of the use case where you can say that you're trying to deactivate the routing from the existing path, right? So we'll learn about all about it in today's episode. This is part 52 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you in this particular series. Right now we are on episode number 52. The playlist link is in the description box below. The notes code is all in the GitHub um, that gets updated to the GitHub and the link is also in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. So, so far I've covered 52 episodes in Angular 10 series. Uh, make sure you check it out uh, to learn everything in detail and master them, right? If you have any doubts, please do let me know. I'm here to help you. Today we are learning about route guards can deactivate. A quick note uh, to our uh, viewers who are joining us new. What is a route guard? A route guard is a mechanism, is a feature in Angular using which we can prevent users from navigating from one part, one route to another route. Route guards are used to secure the route paths. Route guards will result in a true or a false Boolean value. If the result is true, the user can access that route. If the result is false, the user cannot access that route, right? How do you generate a route card? We generate using ng generate guard followed by the guard name. There are four types of interfaces that are available that we can implement and use in our applications. Can activate, can activate child, can load, can deactivate. I've covered the first three in the previous episode, so make sure you check it out so that you have continuity in your learning. Today we are talking about can deactivate. So can deactivate make sure that a user is really sure that he is exiting that route. For example, when you want to make sure that a user is going navigating away from the current route. For example, if you are in let's say payments page and you are trying to fill that debit card form or the entering details and suddenly you hit by mistake refresh or back button or some link. So we stop the user and prompt him some uh, dialogue and say, hey, are you sure you want to leave this particular route? So that is to check if you can really deactivate the current route, right? This is very important because it helps the user to make a decision and not lose the important data or some processing that is already happening, right? So how do you do that? So we have to write a method can deactivate. Right. So I'm going to show you that right now from scratch. Let's get started with hands on. Uh, first, I'm going to fire up the application ng serve. While it is happening, I'll also go ahead and go to other uh, node mod PowerShell. And what I'm going to do ng generate guard and I'm going to say unsaved. Right. So I'm generating a new guard which is used for checking the, any unsaved changes in the page. I'm selecting can deactivate option. You can use arrow to move down and to make a selection, hit the space bar. Okay. Then hit enter and it will generate a guard for you, which is unsaved guard here. You should have it here. Okay. So we got the unsaved guard. Now it implements can deactivate. Okay. So let's get started. First, we'll start from our app routing. Let's go to our app routing and we see there are some routes that we created previously as part of this series. Take any route of your choice. Doesn't matter which one say can deactivate and bring in that guard that we just created. 
can deactivate call that guard okay now let's go to that guard and this is where the it gets really interesting so keep a really close eye on what I'm doing here here I'm, we are saying can deactivate unknown instead now we know that the, we want to check if the user is navigating away from the search component so I'm going to make it search component that implement deactivate on the search component and I'm going to delete everything else okay so let's see that how it looks so here I am we have the okay I'm saying can deactivate will take a input which is a component which is search component save it here it is important that you mention can deactivate of type search component we are injecting in we are passing that component as a parameter to can deactivate now let's go to search component okay and what usually happens is in the form you would have some kind of an input element or some changes that you want to have for now I'm going to just put a router link right and this is where it gets tricky okay so I'm just going to put a route which says that you are going to navigate away okay so make sure that uh, you get this right because router link equal to so any link that the user wants to navigate away now here let's say admin link okay what I've done this is a link which will show up in our application in the search here in, we are in search and we have admin you click on it it goes to admin right but now uh, what I want is when he's trying to navigate away from the screen of search we should prompt user and say are you sure right so for that what I'm going to do go to your search component dot ts and assume that user has typed some changes using form etc etc or you can say you check if form is dirty fields etc etc but for now I'm putting a variable and making it dirty is, is dirty if it's dirty is true okay a variable which says that okay I've checked the form and I'm getting that the form is the fields are dirty so is dirty true okay this is in my search component now let's go to our important task which is the unsaved guard now here since we have the component we will say if component dot is dirty that means if it is dirty then return and say window dot let's say confirm say are you sure to leave the page or you can say you have you have some unsaved changes sure you want to leave okay so this when you say confirm it will give the user a window right dialog window and it will based on true or false selection it will return that value let's see what we have got here now the changes first let's go to app routing we got the can deactivate we got the unsaved guard click on that guard go here and see that can deactivate is the component name which is true here we got the search component and in deactivate in can deactivate method we are call passing that component and checking its property yes is it if it is dirty prompt the window and stop the user from navigating and prompt this confirmation window alrighty and in my component I have a field that I've set to true which is is dirty and in my HTML I have router link which is navigate to admin so far all looks good let's test it so I am in my search let's refresh now I try to navigate away so see now I'm getting that message I, I'm trying to navigate away from the search route so it is giving me the prompt I cancel I stay here I stay in the same route I click OK it will return true and I can navigate to admin link let me show you again I am in the search route I'm doing some operation typing form etc etc form fields and by mistake I click on some link or I hit back button right and I'm trying to navigate away right so now it is prompting and saying that 
you have some unsaved changes are you sure you want to leave right so if i click ok it will take me to the page else if i click cancel i am in the same page right so this is how you can say deactivate right uh, a route so i'm here i'm deactivating the user from navigating away from this particular page this is one of the use case of can deactivate give it a try let me know if you have any doubts i'm here to help you if you like this video give it thumbs up do subscribe to my channel like share comment and please do spread this word to your friends and colleagues thank you so much in the next episode i will teach you how to use resolve method with route cards thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode